Hi everybody, welcome. In this exercise, we are going to draw this cactus. To get the most out of this exercise, I recommend that you try the exercise first before looking at my solution. Use the tools we have learned in this section. Then have a look at my solution to see if you've done it in the same way. Don't worry if you've done it in a completely different way. As I've said, there's never only one way to skin a cat, so pause the video now to try the exercise yourself. The first step is to lay out the basic shapes and proportions. First of all, I'm going to switch on the mirror tool. Next, I draw a rectangle. I also draw a horizontal rectangle like this. I'm going to copy one of the vertical rectangles and move it downwards and to the middle. Then I copy the rectangle again and move it upwards. I'm going to stretch the top rectangle in the vertical direction. After that, I'm going to add some circles to the three tops of the cactus. I use Alt and Shift to position circles in the right place. This gives us the basic shape of the cactus. And I'm just going to merge these layers. I blink a couple of times and I evaluate the basic shapes and the proportions. Is this about right? I can adjust the proportions a little bit using the Move and the Transform tool until I'm satisfied. Next, I make the construction layer transparent. Since I have a, such a simple shape, I'm actually going to skip the sketching phase. I'm going to draw ink, which I'm honestly terrible at, but oh well, here goes nothing. Some tips. I can make my life a little easier by switching on the weighted smoothing. I haven't talked, to, I'm not going to talk about this right now. I will talk about weighted smoothing in the next section. For now, let's just say that this helps to make the line smoother. Also, to make my life a little easier, I'm going to switch to full screen mode by pressing tab. As I draw the straight parts, I zoom out. I try to draw the line in one straight long line. I don't worry too much about overshoot, I can erase the overshoot later. As for the curvy parts, I zoom in a bit more. There are some more tricks that will help us in drawing better line art, but I will leave that for the next section. When I'm finished drawing the outline, I'm going to create a color layer. I will use the Fill tool to color the cactus green. Notice that when I do this, there's a small line that's not quite filled in. I can fix this by slightly increasing the grow selection parameter. Next, I lock the alpha layer and I shade and highlight as I, in the same way as I did for the face.
And that brings us to the end of this exercise. I hope you had fun. See you in the next exercise. Bye-bye.